Delivering local news to the San Juan Basin from our studios at San Juan College, TriCityNews.tv. Hi everyone, coming up, no school district split for central schools. Authorities investigate a murder-suicide in La Plata County. We'll check out New Mexico's second annual Comic Expo and fill you in on a West Main Street construction project. I'm Scott Micklin. It's nice to see you on this Monday. TriCityNews.tv is next. Last year, Taco Bell released the Taco Supreme with a shell made of real nacho cheese Doritos in a few cities, none of which were anywhere near the hometown of Nat Christiana. So, Nat drove his friends 965 miles to get it. Well played, Nat. The new Doritos Locos Tacos. Now in Taco Bells everywhere. Sometimes you gotta live mas. Kirtland Schools will remain as part of the Central Consolidated School District after Education Secretary Hannah Scandera issued an opinion about the split. Scandera made her announcement Friday at the annual New Mexico Tribal Leaders Summit, saying that her wish is for the Kirtland and reservation communities to work together to benefit all the district's children. The decision came nearly three weeks after an almost four-hour public hearing at San Juan College where both sides presented their opinions in the matter of a split which is mainly supported by Kirtland area residents and opposed by the Central School District and tribal leadership. An argument over an inheritance reportedly resulted in the death of three La Plata County, Colorado residents. The Sheriff's Office reports that 67-year-old Billy Decker was allegedly killed by her brother, 69-year-old William Decker, who also reportedly killed the woman's 40-year-old son, Robert. According to reports, deputies received a suspicious call to the property on the Colorado-New Mexico border. When they arrived, they found William Decker hanging from a rope inside a barn. Robert Decker's body was found partially buried on the ranch, and Billy Decker's body was found inside her home in Durango. Comic book legend Stan Lee was a hit in Albuquerque this past weekend as fans crowded into the convention center for the second annual Comic Expo where Lee was speaking, visiting with fans, signing autographs, and taking pictures. As the man credited with creating Marvel Comics and Marvel Studios, also responsible for such movies as Iron Man, Captain America, and The Avengers, Lee was the subject of a recent documentary shown at the Chemo last Friday to benefit the New Mexico Film Festival. Lee spoke about it during the question and answer session. It's called With Great Power, and it's showing around in different theaters. It's a little embarrassing, a whole movie about me. Also at the Expo were television stars Kevin Sorbo and Adam Baldwin, along with movie star Billy Dee Williams of both Star Wars and Batman fame. Williams spoke about playing Harvey Dent in the original Batman and how he wanted to portray the villain Two-Face. When I was hired to do the job to play Harvey Dent, I was really expecting to play... Uh, Two-Face. I mean, I was looking forward to playing Two-Face, but uh, they sold the property to, uh, I think, Sony at the time, I believe, and they went in a different direction. Thousands attended the three-day expo to meet with celebrities, play video games, and visit with comic book artists from all across the country. We can tell you today what's being built at 2112 West Main Street in Farmington. It's a new Sonic Drive-In going up. The new facility is just west of its current location. The new building will be an update of the old at a cost of more than $559,000. Mayor Construction is handling the project. The Bureau of Land Management Farmington District Resource Advisory Council is meeting from 9 until 4.30 in the afternoon, June 14th, at the BLM Taos Field Office on Cruz Alta Road in Taos. The meeting is open to the public. Agenda items include the discussion of transportation planning and deferred maintenance at the Taos Field Office. One item on the meeting agenda that relates to the Farmington Field Office includes amending the management plan for the Glade Run Recreation Area, also planning for a wild horse gathering. A half-hour public comment period is scheduled to begin at 3.30 in the afternoon. The public can address the council at that time. The 10-member RAC provides advice and recommendations to the BLM on resource and land management issues. Hope you enjoyed today and Sunday's cooler weather because it's back into the 90s on Tuesday.
Let's take a look at our forecast. Overnight tonight, clear skies with a low tonight of 49 degrees. Sunny, warmer, and breezy on Tuesday with a high of 91. Clear Tuesday night with a low of 51. Sunny, warmer, and breezy still on Wednesday, the high 94 Wednesday. And clear skies on Wednesday night with a low of 51. Now here's Rick Herner with a look at sports. Thank you, Scott. Let's get started with the New Mexico High School Coaches Association softball all-star game played at the sports complex this weekend. In game one, the South made use of a two-run homer by Carlsbad's Jillian Navarrete as part of a five-run fifth inning on their way to an 11-2 win. Kirtland Central's Taylor Yazzie provided the only offensive spark for the North with both of their RBIs. In game two, the South rallied in the sixth inning to take a 7-6 win over the North and win the best of three series. Again, Taylor Yazzie led the way for the North with three RBIs. Connie Mack baseball action tonight at Ricketts Park begins at 5.30 with Natani number one versus Natani number two, followed by the Strike Zone Cardinals against the DC Mob. Pedro Vista graduate and Seattle Seahawks wide receiver Charlie Martin will be hosting his third annual Charlie Martin Football Academy at the PV Soccer Field on June 19th and 20th for grades two through eight. Email the Charlie Martin Football Academy at gmail.com for details. Devin's back with you tomorrow. Back to you, Scott. Rick, thank you. On behalf of all of us at Majestic Media and San Juan College, thank you for watching TriCityNews.tv. It's local news, all in one place, whenever you want it, 24-7. See you back here on Tuesday. Marketing used to be easy. You're, you'd spend a boatload of cash on advertising, cold calls, trade shows, and direct mail, and watch the leads pour in. Now, folks are bombarded with a gajillion and one marketing messages every day. The World Wide Interweb is transforming how they shop and buy. And there's all sorts of ways to block out the messages you're trying to get through. So, yeah, the whole outbound marketing thing isn't doing the job all by itself anymore. Today, you also need to concentrate on getting customers' attention through inbound marketing, which means blogging, tweeting, social media-izing, SEO optimizing, and a bunch of other newfangled strategies. There's all these new methods and tactics, and they're all disconnected from each other. So you've got this site for one thing, that site for another. You need this platform for that thing and that program for that other thing. And now there's 50 different things to do in 50 different places. And it seems like figuring all this stuff out takes a rocket surgeon or a, a brain scientist, plus an extra 80 hours in the week to do it all. So, what do you do? You know, since you're not a rocket surgeon. Majestic Media understands how daunting this brave new world can be, so they did something about it. What they created will make your marketing way more powerful. And, well, easier. Majestic Media has pulled together the best outbound and inbound marketing experts in the four corners and consolidated them into one spot, giving you a centralized, easy-to-use, unbelievably powerful marketing resource. So you can advertise on billboards, magazines, newspapers, webcasts, TV, and radio. You can blog, Facebook, tweet, optimize, capture leads, and be a feature on your customers' mobile phones. Basically everything, all through one Place. Majestic Media and their team of experts have all sorts of resources, tools, and tricks to make you a marketing genius. Like instantly. You'll be able to get your message to every local market and beyond. No more calling one place to design your stuff, and then another place to print your stuff, and those five places to run your ads, and that other place to work on your website, and trying to figure out what the heck Facebook and Twitter is all about. With Majestic Media, all your marketing is in one place, with tons of people and several companies, all working on your stuff. Yeah, Majestic Media is that marketing secret weapon you've been waiting for. So, make your marketing easier and more effective with Majestic Media's all-in-one marketing system. Schedule your free consultation today.